everybody. Uh, here's another uh, video by me. Um, we're going to, this time I'm going to try and focus uh, my efforts on showing you how to set up a very quick um, masking texture. Um, I'm going to just show you the basics of it and then we'll have a few more videos later on that will show you how to um, implement this in a more complicated but more interesting and practical way. So first things first, um, I'm just going to do it with a plane. I really hate the uh, default size so I'm just going to scale it up till it fits the grid which would be a um, scale of 8. Uh, we're going to create a new um, we're going to create a new material and we're going to uh, add a um, mix RGB and link that up and then uh, we're going to make this top one black and we'll make the bottom one just, just straight up white so that we can show um, exactly how uh, these things are being affected so we're going to make a mask that's going to show it's going to go between black and between white uh, we'll just put the factor in here um, we can do it a couple of different ways first way I'm going to show you is just to do a uh, vertex colors mask so we'll create a new one and we'll just call this mask all caps and make sure that this name is exactly the same uh, otherwise it won't uh, line up properly and I'm gonna hit W and subdivide I'm gonna subdivide it 10 times uh, and that'll give us uh, enough of a vertex uh, so that we can or enough vertices that we can actually get some uh, painted information on it um, and then I hit control tab that brings us to the weight paint but actually I really want vertex paint um, so sorry about that and we're going to go black and I'm just going to do some quick painting on it and you can see that the vertices now have um, some vertices are black and some vertices are white uh, let's show you get rid of the uh, just this is the only render view and so now we have that but whenever you go to render it um, I guess I gotta have a camera in my scene when you go to render it um, you'll see that the material doesn't actually show that vert vertex information or it does because I'm crazy oh because I already set it all up that's why so if I didn't have if I had this disconnected it wouldn't show so yeah there's no uh, doesn't carry over that vertex in, uh, paint weight information I attach it and now we get to actually see it and um, we could do something really cool. I hit Shift Z to um, do a live render of it. You can change those colors, uh, act like live. Like it really kind of uh, gives you this more um, more control over it. So we can create the mask and then we can adjust what those colors are. So that's the end of the first. Uh, video in this series. Next up I'll show you guys how to um, actively like why you would want to actually do this.